When you're out driving your car, one of the things that we hear about the most is a hard brake pedal. You get in the car, you go to drive it, you know, it's cool, it's uh, got all the latest, greatest speed parts, but every time you press the brakes, the pedal's hard, it's firm, you just don't feel comfortable driving your car. There's a handful of different things that can cause this. In this video, we'd like to go over a few of those, some things, some tips that you can work on at home and maybe solve this problem. Yeah. Low engine vacuum is the number one reason for a hard brake pedal. Uh, we've all gone out and bought the latest, greatest camshaft, big snotty cam, and we've put this in, and all that does is, is just reduce engine vacuum. A brake booster requires 18 inches of vacuum to operate. Uh, anything less than that is going to decrease the effort that the brake booster provides and therefore make a harder and firmer pedal. Determining whether or not you have enough vacuum is a really simple test. You use a tool like this, just a vacuum gauge. Uh, this would either plug into the hose at the booster or you could plug it in directly at your vacuum source, which is the engine in this case, and just determine what you've got. You should be somewhere around 18 inches of vacuum at idle. Anything less than that is going to produce that hard brake pedal. While you're checking engine vacuum, one of the things that you'll want to look at is something really simple. It's the hose itself. Uh, when we install a brake booster on a vehicle, we use vacuum line. We don't use fuel line. Fuel line is about the same size, but fuel line is designed to resist expansion. Vacuum line is designed to resist sucking shut. If a, if a hose sucks shut in the application of the brakes, you're going to have a hard brake pedal. And if the booster can't get vacuum, you have no vacuum in the system, therefore you have a hard brake pedal. Another quick and easy thing to check while you're working on your car and checking for this hard brake pedal is simply the check valve. Uh, check valves are designed, just as the name implies, to provide a check for air moving one way but not the other. To check it, simply blow through the valve. If you can blow through one way and then also the other way, you've got a bad check valve. It should only work one direction. One more thing to check when you're checking for a hard brake pedal is, is, is the brake booster functioning properly? A brake booster that's been sitting around for a while or been on a vehicle for a long time, maybe the diaphragms inside have become a little bit hard, a little bit dry. They need to be nice and flexible for, that, for the operation of them to work. One thing that we're going to show you and how to test that is what we call our pedal test. Pedal test starts with just pressing the brake pedal down four or five times. This will evacuate all of the vacuum out of the booster. Once you've done that, on that last press, hold moderate pressure down on the brake pedal. Reach up, start the vehicle up. When you start the vehicle, the pedal should do one of two things. It's either going to drop, which signifies a correctly working booster, or it's going to stay firm. It's going to stay up. That's going to determine whether or not you've got a faulty booster. It's one more thing that you can check. We'll show you how to do this. Okay, we're in the car now. We're going to do our test. We're going to press this brake pedal down three or four times. We're going to hold it. We're going to start the thing up, and we're going to see what we got. So after firing the car up, the pedal did drop as we were hoping. This particular application does have a good booster in it. We're going to have to look at some other areas to see where we can uh, determine the hard brake pedal on this car. Yeah. A combination valve problem is the next most common thing that we hear on the phones. Basically what can happen is, is in, in a combination valve, whether it be disc disc or disc drum, the valve can trip or the center portion of it can push from one side to the other. When this happens, you're basically in a hydraulic lockup situation where you're literally trying to push brake fluid against the wall and it's flat not going to move. That is then the cause of that hard brake pedal. Yeah. Wheel cylinders are another issue and another thing to look at when trying to diagnose your hard brake pedal. Obviously in a disc brake system on the rear you don't have to worry about this, but with a drum brake system you still do have wheel cylinders operating in the back. Uh, wheel cylinders, if they are stuck within their bore, can't move. Much like a combination valve, if things can't move inside that bore, you will run into a hard brake pedal because you're trying to compress brake fluid. Yeah. For more information, give us a call on the number on the screen or simply just visit us on the web at mpbrakes.com.